Okay, and a GCSE paper? That's what we're going to be given. You're going to be given a table of values, usually a minus to a positive, and you're going to have to find the values of y. Now, there is usually a bit of room underneath it, but if there's not, get a spare piece of paper. Again, this is just a good strategy. It might be a little bit longer, but again, the examiner knows what you're doing and you feel confident that you're working through something and you're using a strategy that's tried and tested. It does work. And let's set our sum out. Y equals X plus four. So I've got the values of X. I've got minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, and three. Now, y is equal to my value of x plus 4. All I'm going to write here is y equals. Again, I know it takes time to write all these down, but be bothered to do it. Push yourself. Be bothered to actually work through it properly. x plus 4. The value of x is minus 3. If we need a number line, draw one for ourselves. Minus 3. Add 4 onto it. Remembering, think about its context and temperature, if you like. Minus 3, add on 4, we're going to be at plus 1. Minus 2, add on 4, we're going to be at a plus 2. Again, a value of minus 1x, add 4 onto it, we're going to be at a positive 3. And what we should also notice, because we're beginning values minus 3, 2, 1, and 0, 1, 2, and 3, it's a number after itself, they come in in order, you should find that your graph goes in order as well. Because it's a linear graph, Remember also, a linear graph is a straight line graph, okay? It's points on a straight line that we're looking to point. So it's 1, 2 and 3. 0, add on 4, it's going to give me 4. 1, add on 4, 5, 6. I can guess these because I know it's going to come in order. 